All right, so today we have the Siege and Plunder event. So please keep in mind, this is my first time playing it, so I might make some mistakes when explaining things, but this is kind of how it's been explained to me. We've only got two and a half hours left, and we are in second place, but just barely. So here you can see the rewards for the top 150 players. I myself am at 17, and I'm hoping to stay at the top 20 because I'm in dire need of batteries. So I'm a free-to-play player, so there's a lot of things that I can't do. We didn't get the best matchup. All these guys are nearly as strong as our biggest player, bigger or as big as our second strongest player. So basically, you start out in one of these buildings, the city hall, and you have to kind of take over these little what are they, military stations, okay? And I believe that only R4s and R5s can do it. So basically, you click on the building, and you click connect, okay? And then you connect it to a different building, or you can disconnect it to change your path. Right now, we have the ideal path because the center is open, but the center is not open in the very beginning. It's all based on a timer, and I believe this is a two-day event, all right? So as you can see here, I'm getting 1,200 points per hour, but we do have some bonuses and buffs, so at the bottom right there, you can see I'm actually getting 1,440. Okay, so if you click on the building and you hit enter, you can see somebody else is in there. So this is my teammate, so... Obviously, I'm not going to attack him, but it costs 200 to attack someone. Um, and it's just like the arena event, the doctor's arena, whatever it is that you can do every day. Um, yeah, and if somebody hits you, it takes all your points away. So when all your points are gone, you basically just sit in a building and it'll eventually accumulate enough for you to get to the next building and the next building, etc. Or you can just buy them with CDs, which I did a lot in the beginning. I don't do it now because again, I'm free to play. So I try to use my CDs sparingly. The rewards aren't super duper great for this, but if you manage to get all of these and rank in the top 20, it's not too, not too shabby. All right, so let's see here. Oh yeah, so here you have the army warehouse, okay? Now I won't, I won't connect to it, but if you go into this, into one of these buildings, you can accumulate crates 100% faster. Again, correct me on anything if I am wrong. There's this headquarters, which I'm not sure what that does. I think it gives you an extra 50% or your alliance an extra 50% to the points you grab. But again, I'm not 100% sure. All right, let's see. Here. Oh, yes. So, again, when you attack people or get attacked, if you go on the bottom right-hand corner, you can click this status button, and you can basically get logs to when you get attacked, right? <laughs> Every time I was attacked, um, you can see they took all my crates, and I lost every single battle. These guys are, oh, wow, I actually won one. He must be another fellow free-to-play player, a small one at that. So, yeah, I... Hardly want any. Oh, and I want against some mutants, which there are mutants in the building before there are any actually actual troops from the other team, which some of the big ones have like 2 million power. So you may need somebody bigger if you're not big enough to take them out. And your main goal is just to try and get these rewards and get on the leaderboards for your team because... You get your individual rewards, right, for being on the leaderboard. And let me exit out of here. You can see how how tiny I am. I'm still just two million eight hundred thousand power. So let's see here. Siege and plunder. I believe there's ah yeah, gang rewards. So the the top gang. No. All right. Gang rewards, you get tactical points, which, again, I'm not 100% sure uh, how those work. I think it's something you can allot towards building or making something. 
Again, let me know in the comments below. The best comment I'll give, uh, I'll pin it to the top. Once I create a YouTube channel and uh, get this set up. So again, I'm new to doing this on phones. I used to uh, have a YouTube channel many, many years ago. Let me see if I can think of anything else. Yeah, you're, you're going to get attacked a lot if you're going against a big team. Like if I, if I went to the center right now, they'd probably knock me out within five minutes or less. And definitely if I went to that one, for sure, I'd get knocked out nearly immediately. So uh, try to enter a building when you log in. Check a couple times when you're logged on and check one more time when you log out. Um, it's kind of a boring game, to be honest. Uh, I wish you could just kind of attack like you can on the map or rally people. It'd be a little bit more interactive, but it is what it is. I'm sure they'll have some cool events like that in the future, hopefully. Uh, anyways, this is your boy Juggernaut from Kingdom 561. Peace.